hey guys so in this video we'll be learning about uh, how to uh, give the connection for database in php pdo okay so we'll be learning about pdo that how to connect pdo to the database to mysql database okay so for that we have to create a database in it so this is my xamp server where i am creating a database so i have already created a database okay let's do it from starting so i will create one new database mm, yeah so i'll create php pdo db okay this is my pdo database okay php pdo database so i'll create it so my database is ready okay so now let's uh, if you want to create table you can create in uh, if you want like see in my next video so in this video we'll be learning about how to connect th the database from pdo okay so let's go to the coding so this is i have created one file uh, pdo database connection dot php okay so uh, let's start the coding so before starting please subscribe my channel like the videos if you like it then share it okay so let's start it so php and the end of php okay so this is as usual now in this is pdo okay so like i'll mention over here for you guys mm, h3 so php pdo uh, database connecting okay to mysqli php my admin database okay my admin. done so let's start it so dollar host is equals to single quotes inside that your local host okay local host then dollar user okay if you are have any username or password or whatever so i don't have any username so i just give root and i don't have password so dollar password is equal to in this i don't have any password so i just left empty and next i should give database name okay so what is my database name so which i have created right now okay so this is my php pdo database okay db so this is my database name copy it go to the code and paste it over here okay so now it's done so now it is stored in a variable now start with try catch try and etc yeah okay so oops, sorry there will be a function okay in this function you have to fill it so this is our way to do in this try catch so now uh, we will declare one database okay so dollar dsn or whatever you want to keep database hmm? database connection will give okay so database connection is equals to we will store these two values okay so we will be storing in this uh, these two look host and database name in this data connection okay so let's start with that my sql colon host and is equal to then we have to concatenate the things okay so in this dollar host this value okay copy paste it done 
so now you have to give the database name also okay so this database name so I'll give DB name is equal to table quotes inside that okay dot I'll take this variable DB name variable and I will store it over here okay then close it okay uh, just remove this one single code okay so this is database now this connection has been done we will now we will do now exact database so what we are going to do is pdo database connection okay so this will be a pdo database connection where we will uh, include with the new pdo so this is the content okay format for it so get a function now here we'll be storing three values okay one two and three so for that first we will include are this host and database name so just include this and the next is our username okay username and rest is password copy and paste it so this is our password now the connection has been given so now we have to do uh, like if it is connected we'll echo one variable well string so uh, database connected okay and now we will do in this try catch uh, already inbuilt one thing is there for pdo connection so pdo exception we have to give okay exception dollar error yeah dollar error then you have to give dollar error oops error get the message okay get message this is a g e message function okay method get message method so after this we'll display one echo thing to check that whether it is uh, database um, failed to connect okay so this is how we do for the database connection in this okay so now let's save this and run the program so I have saved in localhost pdo demo slash mm, what was the name pdo database connection P pdo db connection dot okay so uh, there's some error over here so guys uh, database failed to connect so there is some error in that so let's check out uh, local okay here is the error so local host now let's run the program yeah so database connected okay uh, mention in h1 tag okay h1 okay so database connected right now in this if I give any name like uh, one second so uh, let's uh, nothing is right so let's this is our database PHP PDO demo right so let's just make an error okay I've just removed one letter in that now we'll go to the Google Chrome refresh so database failed to connect okay so this is the how to connect database so we'll make it PDO PHP PDO database so I have created that see guys this is my PHP PDO database so let's refresh now it's got connected 
okay that's all in this video thank you for watching this video and uh, we have learnt only that how to create database and connect it okay thank you for watching for this video like subscribe and share it thank you once more